I'll do. <laughs> it's me again. Right, quick project, hopefully not too long, is to make a three bin compost bay system where I'm gonna be turning the compost over winter quite frequently and see if I can get it down to a reusable uh, compost, organic matter and so on, on the beds in the spring. Right, so that's that bed finished over there. That's where I grew the onions and leeks last year and the asparagus along the top. And then you've got a little pathway there. And this is where this year I grew butternut squash. Now I've had some weeds grow up. So the first job is to clear the weeds. I've just lightly forked the top of those two beds just to disturb the soil a little bit. Right, I've kind of joined three beds into one and uh, only gone up halfway along these beds and left the rest of them separated out. And I'm going to place a three bay compost bin system here. Okay, so it's that pile of pallets there that I'm going to use down on there to make a temporary compost bay system. That's comfrey leaves, globe artichoke, seed heads. Well, I've managed to get about a third of the way up so far. And over the next few days, I'm going to continue to build up this compost bin with as much organic matter from around the plot as I can and browns, cardboard and whatever I can find to mix it up. Right, just over halfway up the compost bay. I've put layers of leaves and grass on today. The grass is cut from the green grassy bank. So I've strimmed the bank, the grassy green bank, and I've strimmed it so it disturbs the soil. And that's where I'm gonna start my wildflower meadow seeding this autumn. When all the grass clippings have gone down to the compost bay. There's the compost bay system. Here's a nice freshly cut grassy bank. So I'm going to take a chance here. I've got this big pile of, what is it? Branches, brambles, grasses. A lot of it's brown waste material. So guys, I'm going to take a chance and a risk and I'm going to chop this up as fine as I can and put it into the compost bay as browns. So I brought some of the browns from that uh, bramble heap. I say bramble, it was weeds, dried bramble branches and so on. Chopped it up into small pieces, brought it down here, added it, added it to the compost bay and uh, put some cardboard on top. I've got a lot of grass under there so I need to put a lot of more browns in. Into the second bay I brought down some more barrows full of browns from a drying out uh, waste piles full of weeds, brambles, grass, etc. into this bay. And then I'm gonna filter it out from here on top of the first bay there. As you can see, some of these bramble root balls here are still drying out. So I'm gonna let those dry out in this third bay at the moment. So that's the second wheelbarrow full of that pile of brambles and weeds, grass, etc. It's going into this middle compost bay and then I'm going to filter out the roots and put them in the third compost bay and finally chop all other material and put it into the first compost bay on top of this lot here. We're about two thirds of the way up. It's filling up. It's quite a lot of brown material there. On top of the brown material, I'm going to put the last wheelbarrow full of grass clippings from strimming that green grassy bank. So that's going to go on top of that layer of browns there. That's half a barra of grass clippings on top of those browns. But this little one, I think, has been in the pile of bramble roots for the whole of last 
winter and all of the summer and I'm pretty sure that's dried out. There's no sign of any new roots or shoots coming through there and it feels a lot lighter as well. So that is going into the compost bay. So I reckon I'm about three quarters of the way up to the top of this compost bay. There's a thick layer of browns going on, rotting uh, roots and grass and things that I've chopped back last year, some this summer. That's the browns. Now I'm going to pile on this, another pile of greens. That's the last layer of grass. I'm sure that will drop in the next few days. One good thing I've got free leaves by being on this site on the woodland edge and all these leaves are dropping here and I'm collecting them and they're going to go into the compost bay. Been a few days later and we can see that that has already gone down by a significant amount. Gosh, while it was two boards from the top on that left hand side. So it's shrunk by three boards down, which is to be expected. So what I'm going to do is aerate that today. And I'm first of all going to turn it into this bay here. And then I might even put it back in that bay because uh, it's more enclosed there. So I think that it might generate a little bit more heat. First of all, I'm going to show you what it looks like with the front off. There you can see the various layers underneath. And uh, yeah, it's dropped down quite a lot. It was just two boards from the top before. And now it's just over halfway again. So what I'm going to do is turn it from this bay into that bay back there and then back over here I think because it's got more boards around the edges and I haven't had time to finish that one off. Not sure if you can see that but there's quite a lot of heat coming off that heap. As I'm turning it I'm getting a lot of heat off there so I'm going to Film in normal time. Let you have a look at that. A lot of heat in there. Quite amazing, actually. How much heat has been generated from that. already in a week. Wow, that is warm. Amazing. I'll say a week, a week and a bit. Wow. Is amazing. Whew. I think I've surprised myself there. 
Really have. That's hot. Right, that's more or less the uh, heap turned. Look at the steam coming off of that. Okay, so next job. I'm actually going to aerate it and put it back in that bay, first bay. Right, I've got about half, half a pile there. I've had to put this board up now and I'm going to line it with cardboard. And uh, I've still got half to go there, still steaming. I'm going to pop that back in there and fill it up and bring you back when it's done. Right, I've got all of that back in there. I've given it a good aerating, turning. It's all mixed in now. I should imagine that go down to half by this time next week. What I am going to do though, is I am going to use some leaves from around the plot to try and top that up. I know I could make a separate leaf mold pile, but uh, I've got plenty of leaves there and I haven't got space for a leaf mold pile. So I'm going to collect loads of leaves from around this plot and try and put an, an extra layer on top there. Okay, I've just put the thermometer in. It's about an hour after turning the compost and it's on 28 degrees Celsius. Uh, really, it needs to get above 40 to be doing any good, preferably 50. So I'll come back in a couple of days and check the temperature then. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, thanks for sticking with me. See you again soon, guys.